Philippine Ascal Simone Rota is headed to Laguna next weekend to spread the love of football to kids. The program is called Football for a Better Life. Why is Simone excited to reach out to the kids of Laguna? Let's find out. Joining us live tonight are Simone Rota of the Philippine Ascals and camp director Chris Thomas. Good evening, guys, and welcome to Sports Desk. Hello. Hello. Okay, so tell us, tell us about this camp. What made you decide to have it all the way in Laguna? We met uh, one month ago with Pro Life after an uh, Ascal, Ascal game. And we find the same way to, to help the kids for, uh, for play football. And we have another mission in um, Laguna where they make a new field. Mm -hmm. And obviously they are waiting for uh, some people that help us for, uh, for this the football. And that's why Thomas helping us. Okay, what are the, what are the main objectives of, uh, of Football for a Better Life? Um, we're just trying to bring, um, give the children of the Philippines access to the sports because um, what we see is a lot of people are having to pay. It's like that throughout the world. So what we're doing is giving the football for free. We're trying to bring uh, barriers down, you know, create pathways, you know, educational pathways also. So really what we want to do is not just uh, take all the limitations away and just uh, to be able to uh, transcend the Philippines and have an international network as well. So for the kids who are exceeding talent, you know, they've got a great opportunity, you know, to play. They can play the Philippines, they can play for the, the Ascals in the future, maybe the World Cups. Or they can play in uh, Asia, they could play in China League, you know, the J League, the Korean League, or maybe they could be over in Europe. So we're just trying to give them a pathway. What, what can we expect from this, uh, from this football camp? What's, what's a day going to be like in there? Well, on the first day, we're going to run probably is about over 100 kids uh, who will be in the clinic, but I, I know there's a lot more going to turn out. Like in uh, Pampanga, we did over 600 kids just in the clinic alone. So um, it's, uh, we're just going to deliver um, yeah, about two hour session. It's going to be, it's going to be high energy. It's going to be total fun with all the technical, you know, that's all going to be hidden behind the fun base games, you know, so that's what we'll do on the first day. Second day is just, you know, tournaments. Uh, okay, Simone, uh, it is interesting why you're excited to hook up, especially with Buklud Kalinga. This seems to have a very, you have a deep connection with this group, is that correct? Yeah. Yes, why is that? Because the, the same nun that are here, they, they had me and my parents because I was adopted 30 years ago and Sister Maine with Madre Flora and Sister Marlene, they contact my parents in Italy and they come from here for uh, adopted me. And that's why and that's why you were born mm -hmm. here. Yeah. But you grew up in Italy. In Italy yeah. Hence the accent. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The, maybe viewers were not part, were yes. not familiar with you as an Ascal. Whoa! Why is this accent? Yeah. That's the story. Okay. So now that you have a chance to work with these kids, and of course the Ascal's popularity is, you know, it, it just keeps growing. What what would be your your main objective? What would be your main lesson to teach these children? Of course, all. All Ascal are inspiration for the kids, and our objective for uh, with uh, Pro Life mm -hmm. is make constant program for the kids for a long time, just not only one or two day for clinic. So we are just preparing the schedule for make maybe football school for a long time, for give more, you know, just one day is is not enough for mm -hmm. the kids. So there are bigger things ahead. Yeah. Do you see yourself when, when you see these kids who you know, are really hungry for like, football knowledge and football training? Yeah, I, yes, but you know, I was in, came in Italy when I was six months, so it's, I really grew up in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand that if I was not adopted, I was in the same situation, so I can, maybe I can see myself if I didn't adopt. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm, I'm so close yeah. with these things. When you, when you talked about this, this football camp, um, how, how did this whole thing come about? Because uh, we, we've seen the young husbands with their football clinic. We, we see a lot of football clinics, but what, what made you guys want to do this and what is different about this? Um, I think it's because we're, we're doing everything for free, of course. So what we want to do is uh, bring in 
um, you know, the foreign coach coming there, you know, a British coach or an international coach with there, you know. Um, to just transfer all the knowledge, because they're born into a system, they're born into a tradition, so we want to bring it here, because we know that, you know, the Philippines is a basketball country, so we want to transfer all our knowledge that we can, and um, to, yeah, just to just share everything we've got so we can get the better, get the best out of the kids, you know, just work together, you know, the Philippines, you know, and some uh, maybe German people can come, you know, British people can come and just, you know, just get together and just develop a, a methodology that's going to really work for this country. You know, so what we want to do now is uh, we want to start now, well, we're starting now as we've been starting, you know, as years past, is to implement a proper program with, um, with a mixture of different coaches, different me methodologies, you know, and turn these kids into proper athletes, into champions, and that's, what, that's, what we're, that's our mission. And that's what we're going to do, and it will happen as well. So we're looking forward to that. So one day, the Philippines will become a footballing nation. Okay, well, here's a chance for, for you guys to uh, you know, mm -hmm. invite not just the kids in Laguna. You have legs here. I mean, you'll be in Palawan uh, right thereafter. Yeah. But this is your chance to invite uh, everyone to support uh, the camp. Mm -hmm. Simone? Everybody can enjoy it with us yep. because it's, it's free. So come, come to enjoy it. Yeah. Everybody's welcome, you know. So 2016 is going to be very interesting, very exciting. It's going to be educational. So... Get ready. All right, thank you. All right. Emilio Aguinaldo College ends Letran's perfect streak in the NCAA will bring you NCAA highlights when we return. This is Sports Desk on CNN Philippines.